Good to see you from Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us tonight from wherever you are. Uh, it feels good to be here to take you on the trip because the money is spinning. World of Sports, I'm Yemi Adebayo. Thanks once again for joining us on this abridged version of the show. We start the show tonight with the Olympic segment. Uh, welcome. Uh, for the few minutes we have on this show, hopefully at some point I will be joined by uh, our friend uh, Kauli Ahmed. But as we go on, let's quickly x-ray what happened uh, with Team Nigeria today. Let's take a look at the performance from Team Nigeria. Well, things didn't go um, as planned for Team Nigeria. We were all expecting that at least Odoi Adekore would advance to the next round. Uh, in wrestling, that didn't happen. Odoanyo Adekure lost to Moldova Anastasia Nishita in round 16 with a pinfall. That's why leading for uh, leading, uh, I mean, for a long time in in the bout, she was leading 8-2 before the pinfall, and um, she's out. I mean, I mean, it's, it was stunning. This, this was somebody that a lot of people were hoped would get uh, a medal. All right, but so it turns out that she's out. And you also have the Kerekeme Aguilmo also losing same, um, same event, that's wrestling, to India's Deepak Punia in his first bout. That's in the men's freestyle, 86 kilogram. That's in the quarter final. In, in his own case, uh, he lost uh, by technical superiority. So he lost in that one. Ayamide Bello uh, finished third in E3 of the women's Kano uh, singles 200 meters, sliced slightly missing out on an automatic semi-finals sports. Uh, so, and uh, that's what happened. That's the summary of uh, what happened to Team Nigeria today. And uh, you can agree with me when I say things didn't go uh, exactly according to plan for Team Nigeria. And you also have um, Thursday. That's what we have. Let's move on to Thursday, Wednesday. It's not a day to remember for Team Nigeria, but let's hope that Thursday will be better. That's the schedule for Thursday right there on your screen. The women's four by 100 meters uh, relay, Nigeria will be in it too. Before all that happened, uh, you could say that uh, Nigeria were strong contenders for a medal, as we always are, but... A lot has happened, and so Nigeria will participate, but I guess a lot of people will not be expecting too much. The quartet that will run the race, Grace Nwokocha, Toby Amushon, Ese Brume, and Patience Okon George. This is wishing them all the best, even though this, the odds are stacked up against them. But of course, we're hoping that the Nigerian can do spirit will uh, see them through. Also, uh, tomorrow, men's shot put final uh, will uh, have Team Nigeria's Chukwe Buka uh, in Ekuchi in that one. Uh, there's been um, things uh, circulating on social media, but he has also come out to say, look, guys, I'm not distracted about all of these issues, uh, issues about him having to wash uh, his jersey and uh, having only one, having to wash it and uh, for reuse, I mean, not 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 something really good. But but it's it's hard for me to know that he has put out the information to say, look, guys, I'm not distracted. All of those issues are behind me, and I'm ready to compete. I represent my country. Okay, so let's move on on the show. Uh, Kade Ahmed is ready to uh, join us as we uh, talk about what happened uh, today, and uh, hopefully we will be able to. Uh, take you through some of these to expect. So, this is you. Thanks, uh, Kyle Ahmed. Thanks for finding out time to be uh, with us on the show tonight. Yeah, good evening. I mean, great to be back on the show. All right, let, let's talk about today. Uh, what happened today? Day, uh, I think day 13. And we're beginning to lose count anyway. Uh, your, your summary of Team Nigeria's. Um, performance in the events of today. Of course, the high point definitely has to be Odoi Adekoroi. I mean, none of us 
none of us, before the Olympics, were already talking about the medal, not going out at the first attempt? Well, it took all of us by surprise. And I haven't seen the heroics of um, blessing the Bodo Dudu. Mm -hmm. We all expected Odua Yadu Koroye to take it a notch higher with a gold medal performance. But alas, uh, Michita from Moldova um, had other ideas, even though she was leading by 8 2, and um, she lost, unfortunately, um, via um, a fall. And once you're down by two seconds, the, the opponent is deemed to have won automatically. And that got Odua Yadukure down mentally and physically. That from what we've gathered, it took the intervention of the general overseer of MFM to calm her nerves because um, she felt she let the whole nation down. We felt disappointed, but um, she can just bounce back and prepare ahead for Paris 2000 and um, 2024, basically. But um, it took all of us by surprise. But we just have to dust it off try again, and hope for better days to come. Yeah, that's what we are hoping for. Uh, we have also have other athletes who uh, didn't do as much as expected. They could have a game more in wrestling as well, Ayamide, um, Belo, but that didn't have the effect of uh, the scenario we had Odwayo losing a uh, hole. All right, let's get ahead of ourselves. Let's look at um, what tomorrow holds. I mean, that's the only thing we can do. Today is gone. So there's nothing we can do about that. But, but tomorrow, <laughs> let's uh, uh, short put. Uh, a lot of people also putting their hopes in uh, Chikwebuka and Ekochi. And um, it's also heartwarming, like I said in my intro, that they told us, look, all of these issues you've read about, you've seen on social media, I've put it behind me. I'm ready to compete for my country. Well, um, for Enekochi, we are looking up to him um, surprising us. He came fourth in his group, but seventh overall in the semifinals. But the good thing is he has made it to the finals. And in the finals, anything can happen. So he just have to throw um, a distance of higher than 22, between 20, 22 and 23 meters to at least find himself on the podium. Well, impossible is nothing. And the young man has really, really worked tirelessly from the Commonwealth Games to the African Championship and even at the National Sports Festival. And I admit that he has competed in both on the local scene and the international scene. It seems like um, he's one of the few we are relying upon now to at least get us a medal in the field event, as well as um, the relating, who also we will be looking forward to. It's okay. down to the wire right now. Closing days of the Olympics, we are 68 on the medal position with one silver and one bronze. And uh, I just think we can take lessons from this experience because this Olympics has been rigged with one controversy or uh, the other. You, you, you like know, Kade, 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 let, 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 let me butt in. We're going to have enough time to do a post-mortem. But let, let's, let's face the Olympics. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's enough, okay. too, too, too many issues, like you rightly said. But you, you talk about something I also want you to um, elaborate. Um, I mean, the, the women's four by 100, not the quartet that originally would have, you know, run the race. And um, you're still talking about hopes. I mean, we had to shift, rearrange, you know, redraft some people. So in your own estimation, should Nigerians still be hopeful of uh, something from that really? Talking about the women's four by 100 meters. Well, I was about saying proper preparation prevents poor performance. Okay. And in terms of uh, preparation, we had a non-existent one, so to sure, speak. Sure, uh, we sure, We bungled our way through, and we try, we always take the 11th hour approach. And everything that has happened has been, in terms of the medals we won, it has been to the dint of hard work by Ese Dume, and of course, give kudos to the Nigerian Wrestling Federation president, talking about Daniel Igali, who has said his desire is to see the likes of Odan Yadio Kure, a blessing of Bodo Dudu, Amina Sadini, and other wrestlers, to be on the podium at the Olympics because he also won it as an athlete with um, Canada some years back. That effort we have seen translated into at least one silver for us, which means if you put your hands to it and you put all hands on deck with hard work and proper preparation, you definitely will achieve. Talking about um, athletics and redrafting of um, um, athletes from one event to the other, we know what happened to Blessing Okabari. She's the most experienced of the lot. She's out of um, the picture. 
And the ladies who drafted us a brief to be a motion and the likes. We can only hope. But we know that our preparation has been nothing to write home about. Okay. And it will be disappointing if at the end of the day they fail to make the podium in the relay events. All right, uh, Kaude, let's, um, let's go global now. Um, we can't spend the whole of the day licking our wounds. So <laughs> we, we have to move on. <laughs> uh, let's talk about um, somebody who, I mean, it's, it's just only poetic what has happened today. Talking about um, uh, uh, Andre de Grasse of Canada, uh, somebody who has had an history of near misses, near misses. And when everybody started talking about the post uh, Usain Bolt era, nobody, uh, I mean, the, 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 the self belief, so to speak, that I can make it. We, we, we saw the uh, world record of the 100 meter, meters orders being broken by McLaughlin. She defeated Dalila Mohammed, who was the odds on favorite in that event. You know, at the Olympics, if you prepare and if you get all the support from your federation and your country, you know you have nothing to worry about than to just focus your eyes on the ball, aim for victory, and with consistency and hard work, yeah. definitely one will get it. And that was what happened in the case of from the grass because he has been there in and about it every now and then, just meeting sometimes by a few subsequents. But this time around, it was written in the stars for him. And All he right. got it because he has worked his butt, so to speak, into the um, gold medal. And of course, it was well deserved. You know, let's talk about the Americans uh, for a minute, if we can. That's where you are now, and you're, you're in a good place to answer this question. Do, do you think we, um, we're, we're missing people like Christian Coleman, Shakira Richards, all of those people, for one doping offense or the other. But let's go into the what ifs. I know what ifs doesn't really matter much because it's what happens on the day. But do you think in a race like this, mm -hmm. in the 100, 200, probably if Christian Coleman um, was there, maybe uh, for the ladies, if Rich, uh, the, 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 la the American lady that got suspended was there as well, maybe it wasn't going to be uh, Elaine Thompson. I mean, and the Americans appears like they're struggling a bit with the athletics these days, especially the sprints. Yeah, uh, the, the Jamaicans and um, people from um, the Maldives are giving them a run for their money, no doubt. We saw in Thompson, Dustin, our uh, compatriot, Shelly and Fraser Price. And we also know that um, the likes of them using boats. And even you and Blake, before he became um, an athlete that could not measure up to the standard he set, Basically, we know that um, in the sprints, it's been the Jamaicans lately. In the past, from the 80s and the 90s, it was the Americans from the day of um, Carl Lewis to even the likes of uh, Michael Marsh. They dominated. And even the mid-sprint on the days of Michael Johnson and what have you. But you know the fact that um, Great Britain and, of course, Jamaica are always giving them a run for the matter. And these days, the likes of Canada as well are in the mix. Basically, it's been the fact that... Um, Doping has dogged the American Athletics Federation for quite a while. But despite that, they've been able to churn out quality replacements yeah. who also are trying to fill in the gap and not making the absence of the top dogs felt, so to speak. Yes, it could have been better, but you know, there are always odds on favorites any day, any time. All you right. find the Americans in the top three at major events, talking about the sprints from the 100 to the 200 and even the 400. And even if you go down to the four by one and the four by four, they always find a way around the podium. It might not be the gold medal, but they'll definitely get yeah. the silver or right. the bronze. But definitely, doping has played a part in what has happened to them recently. All right, let's uh, talk about the 800. I mean, 800, the Kenyans all, all, always uh, dominating that. Talking about the men uh, and, uh, and the women. Let's. Uh, David Rudisha are not here, but his compatriot, mm -hmm. uh, Emmanuel Carrillo, um, won uh, this. Uh, out of competition testing, took out 10 athletes from the track and field event. Many Nigeria were grabbing the headlines for the wrong reasons. Now, looking, taking it back now to the East Africans, we know from time immemorial that the long distance races is their forte. Even if you look at um, the uh, Lagos City Marathon, they are the ones who get to, you know, breast the tape first and what have you, and they work on the strength and try to also build on their weaknesses. Basically, they're carrying out a SWOT analysis and see, okay, how can we better our performance? Because we know that other countries are trying to get at us or possibly upstage us. So how do we remain the, at the top? 
All for right. a long time to come. They plan, they All get right. uh, engaged in an international meet, they gain exposure, and they always deliver at international events. All right. Uh, our last part of call, uh, Kyle, before we let you go, the medal table. Top three. Let's uh, quickly uh, take a look at it. Well, no shame. We're in there somehow. Uh, you're talking about 68. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to go empty-handed. Uh, but that's what it looks like now. China leading, followed by the U.S. and Japan. Um, in, in less than 30 seconds, if you can, Cardi, um, who do you think will be the overall winners? It, it appears like the United States are struggling. Before this, I would have said U.S., but with what I'm seeing from China, it might be difficult for the U.S. to catch up. Well, I'll still stick my neck out for the United States. Um, the Chinese are trying to make a statement that, okay, we want to become the world powers. And um, they're really doing a good job. Over a few days to go, I still think the United States would still somehow find a way to emerge and victorious to become the number one nation at this year's Olympics. All right. Kade Ahmed, I want to thank you for your time on the show. Always refreshing um, speaking, speaking uh, with you. And uh, we'll do this again some other time. Thank you for having me, Yemi. All right. So that's it. Uh, that's, the, that's the end of, of the Olympic segment. Let's pause, get out, let's come back to wrap up the show. All right, as we go, our party shot will be the Nigeria Professional Football League winner already decided. But I see some things up for grabs, uh, the teams that will battle relegation and the teams that will cement their place on the continent. And there you have it, matches to be played tomorrow, uh, March 88. Abia Warrior will take on Asura United. Dakada FC will take on Ayimba. Rangers United will take on Plateau United. FC Fanyuba will take on Wari Wolves. Uh, all the fixtures, Heartland will take on Kano Pile. Square United will take on Casino United. Lobby Stars will take on already crowned champions, Aqua United. MFM, the Lagos team, will take on Jigawa. Golden Stars battling against the drop. Sunshine Stars also battling against the drop against Rivers United, uh, seeking to be on the continent. And Wiki Torres uh, will play against already uh, relegated Adamwa United. So that's it. Uh, that's a wrap on the show tonight. Hope we enjoyed what we brought to you. We'll be back again uh, tomorrow. I'm Ivan Adabaya. Bye now.